We go 4-1-1 one, and one on yesterday's show. How is that possible with only five free selections? Well, if you go back to last Friday's LDS preview, I said to take the Mets to win the series. So them winning yesterday, for us, turned out to be a double dip and a real nice moneymaker as New York, they were north of plus 160 to win that series with Philadelphia at the start. A couple other futures may be in trouble for us in Major League Baseball. Let's hope for the best, though. Bottom line, after going 4-1-1 one, and one yesterday, it's now a 129 105 and 7 overall run here on the show. For today, I've got a lot for you. Both MLB playoff matchups, two college football plays for Thursday, as well as 49ers Seahawks. You can go ahead and let me know what you think of these selections down below. And if you agree, don't be afraid to smash that like button. Here we go. Number one, Guardians Tigers under six and a half. The handicap here, gang, is pretty straightforward. The Guardians have been shut out in back to back games, as you know. In fact, since a five-run first inning in Game 1, they've scored just two runs the rest of the series. You look at Detroit, they've scored three runs or fewer in four of their five playoff games thus far, none of which have seen more than seven total runs scored. This number has dropped from seven to six and a half, but I'm not that concerned about it. Even with it being another bullpen game uh, for the Tigers, manager A.J. Hinch, he's got to feel pretty comfortable with this bullpen right now, seeing as they have the lowest ERA in baseball going back to August 1st. But speaking of bullpens, Cleveland's has been the best in baseball over the course of the full season. The Guardians also have Tanner Bybee starting Thursday. He's been better on the road than at home. 2.76 ERA away from progressive field. And remember, he tossed four and two-third shutout innings back in game one, which Cleveland won under six and a half. I like the over seven and a half in Yankees Royals. Like the Tigers, the Yankees were looking to advance tonight to the LCS. An absolutely dreadful performance behind the microphone last night from Bob Costas. So let's uh, hope that the runs come early in game four and we can just shut the volume off on this one and pay attention to football. Uh, even though they won only four hits from the Yankees yesterday, I was surprised. I expect far more out of this lineup tonight, obviously. But as I stated on yesterday's show, the Yanks are number one in all of MLB and WRC Plus versus right-handed pitching. They're facing a righty starter in game four, Michael Waka. I also still don't trust this Kansas City bullpen, but I do think their lineup can string together some runs, the Royals. Uh, again, they walk a lot more. They strike out a lot less when playing at Kauffman Stadium. More runs tonight between Kansas City and New York. Now, for my top Major League Baseball playoff pick for Thursday, head on over to my page, wt.buzz slash bp. I am playing one of the sides in t uh, tonight's two LDS matchups. Just one side. Uh, it is my favorite Major League Baseball play. Let's now move to college football, shall we? Three more games from Conference USA on the docket Thursday. How about yesterday's call here on the Power 5 with Jacksonville State over its team total? That was a winner early in the third quarter. Unfortunately, tonight, you're going to have to wait all four quarters to cash this one because I like under 49 in Middle Tennessee, Louisiana Tech. Pretty dreadful matchup here, if we're being honest. But I like the under. Uh, because Middle Tennessee does not play particularly fast on offense, and they've yet to score more than 20 points against any FBS opponent. Wow. Louisiana Tech, not much better. They, too, have failed to score more than 20 against an FBS opponent this season. Both teams are outside the top 100 in offensive success rate. Middle Tennessee's defensive numbers are bad, but keep in mind the Blue Raiders had to face both Ole Miss and Memphis. That'll skew things. With Louisiana Tech, there's questions at the quarterback position. These teams stink. And again, I like the under 49. Here's a team total for you in college for tonight. Might not be as easy as Jacksonville State over 38 and a half last night, but I like Western Kentucky over 38 and a half against UTEP in yet another fine matchup produced by Conference USA this evening. You can bet over 38 and a half for WKU at DraftKings. Even money, by the way. So uh, a little better price than last night where you had to lay a little juice on Jacksonville State. The Hilltoppers, they should have little difficulty scoring on a UTEP defense that, wait for it, absolutely stinks. The Miners just allowed over 500 total yards to Sam Houston last week. More importantly, 41 points. Western Kentucky's put up 49 in a game already this season at Middle Tennessee. The aforementioned Middle Tennessee. I think they could put up 40 again here. Quarterback Caden Veltkamp, who wasn't even a starter at the beginning of the season. He's completing 70% of his pass attempts for the Hilltoppers. I think they're going to score a lot. Uh, so within the next 24 hours, I hope to have my complete college football and NFL cards for the weekend posted at wt.buzz slash bp. College should be up uh, by tonight. Going to have at least three plays for you on Saturday. And right now, 
is a great time to get on board with me as I'm number one in football this season at Wager Talk. 29 and 14 record at 68% with all NFL plus college, up 41.1 units. It was a 3 0 sweep last Saturday in college football, including 4% best bets on Texas AM and Washington. In the NFL, I was 2 0 on Sunday, including the big 5% max bet on Denver. So if you're looking to lock in long term, just head on over to wt.buzz slash BP right now, where you can get an additional 30 days of service for just $99 if you buy a 30 day all access at the normal price. So that's a heavily discounted 60 days of service for you. You save $200 off the normal price. All right, I will now close out Thursday's Power 5 with a look at the NFL game. 49ers at Seahawks, critical matchup in the NFC West, which, uh, at least for right now, is a bit more wide open than in years past. In fact, it's Seattle in first place, 3-2, and two, despite back-to-back straight-up losses. San Francisco only 2-3, and three, so a loss here would just be devastating to the 49ers. They'd fall two games back and not have the tie break. I'm going to refrain from taking a side here. Instead, I'll look at a prop. Yes, a prop. Remember, we won all of our props on Monday uh, for the Monday Night Football uh, matchup between the Chiefs and Saints. I like Niners quarterback Brock Purdy over one and a half touchdown passes here. You can find that minus 125 at DraftKings. Seattle's defense is banged up, guys. They've given up multiple touchdown passes in back-to-back games, including to Daniel Jones last week. My goodness. I I say Purdy gets it going here. The Niners offense has moved the ball well this season. They just get bogged down in the red zone. Not tonight. Purdy's going to throw a couple touchdown passes. Okay, let us now recap the Power 5 for Thursday. Number one, Guardians, Tigers under six and a half. Number two, Yankees, Royals over seven and a half. Let's go to college football. Number three, under 49 in Middle Tennessee, Louisiana Tech. Number four, Western Kentucky over 38 and a half team total. And number five, a prop for NFL, Brock Purdy over one and a half touchdown passes. You can go ahead and let me know what you think of those selections down in the comments section below. Don't be shy about dropping your best bets for tonight. I always like seeing what you guys are betting. And if you'd be so kind again, you enjoy this free content on Wager Talk TV, smash that like button. One more time, I am number one at Wager Talk this football season with a combined 29 and 14 record in NFL and college. You also want to make sure you're subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Click that bell for instant alerts when your favorite shows uh, like this one or the Morning Wager with Mark Zinno and I drop. And that's going to do it for Thursday's edition of the Power Five. Until next time, everybody, let's catch some tickets.